G'day there, I'm Ed Phillips. And I'm Lavinia Nixon. And you know how our champ is so into his jousting? Look at the knife he gave me before the show. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Let's get the game on. Welcome to Temptation. <laughs> For Friday. I might need that suit of armour you've got. That actually stings <laughs> when you get a bit of speed up with the sword. Thank you. Oh, we're on. Oh, we're on. <laughs> uh, that, of course, is <coughs> Rod Stewart's Do You Think I'm Sexy? The man who actually wrote a whole chapter about his hair in his last book. We'll have more guilty pleasures later in the show. Why is that a guilty pleasure? I love that song. That was great. Yeah. Coming up, Rowena Wallace has dropped four dress sizes. Whoa. She reveals all about her amazing transformation. Plus, she's just been named the sexiest woman alive. We're going to have a look inside Scarlett Johansson's wardrobe. Also ahead, more outrage this morning as children vaccinations drop dramatically again. Are you for or against getting kids jabbed? Tell us what you think on Facebook or Twitter. Number six on our list is the opportunity to cuddle up to the king of the jungle. Well, the prince of the jungle. One thing that I've always wanted to do in Africa is to play with a lion cub. And that's going to happen today, although <laughs> they don't look so little. Are you going to come this way? Yes, thanks, Janice. Hello. This one's Slopey, means white king. Slopey. Look how big Slopey's paws are. I looked at the seven-month-old lions in their pen and said, no way, <laughs> no way that a person should go in there with six lions. But I'm already inside and I can't pike out now. And at what age would you recommend not coming in here? <laughs> well, um, no. <laughs> These handsome beasts are bred at the Seaview Game and Lion Park. It's a kind of stud farm. When they're older, most of these lions will be sent to zoos and other parks around the world to provide new bloodlines. But some will be released into the wild. <laughs> He's sitting on my feet. It's all right, I know who the boss is. It's time to get on the safe side of the fence. And luckily there are some younger cubs that I can get my hands on. We have to be firm with them because they have to drink. But um, they're, they're not interested in us bossing them around at this stage. Oh, of course not. Oh, look at you. We always get a feisty one. This is a first for me and a second for these cuties. They've only been fed by bottle once before. They were absolutely divine. And all of a sudden you just felt this overwhelming sense of protection that you wanted to look after them because they were so defenceless. And you don't normally think of lions as defenceless, but these babies were. Oh, the noises, the little viewing. Amazing. Of course you have to pick your moment. When in the life cycle you play with a lion, <laughs> we can play with you now, but in a few years you'll be playing with me, won't you? Could be your entree. Incredible. You can't touch this. Yeah, get out your happy pants because we're doing the top five songs that we secretly love. Number two, MC Hammer, You Can't Touch This, which featured just about on every TV show from The Fresh Prince to Glee to, well, now us. What will be number one? How do you top? You can't touch this. You can't touch that. I you don't know can. how you can top, you can't mm -hmm. top that. Nope, you can. <laughs> now, after an avalanche of rumours, we now have official confirmation that Bruce and Chris Jenner have separated. Let's go to Kylie Spear in LA. She's got the details. Carl and Kelly, Today Show journalists, you're obviously used to the hard-hitting questions. Whose suit are you wearing? I'm not sure. No, it's Hugo Boss. It's you Hugo Boss. Know these I things. know. Is it? 
It's the boss. Talk to me, talk to it's me. It's the boss, man. And is it true, Kelly, that you designed your own dress? Well, I helped design it. The credit has to go to a young designer called Rowena James. So she did a good job. She's put lots of little sparklies on there. And and I had to help yeah. put it together in the limo. It, actually, it was <laughs> late. It was Carl, running late. And Carl had to put it back together for me. <laughs> I'm gifted in those sort of things, though. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Yeah. All right, well, have a great night, you two. And early to bed. I know. No, early to bed, early to rise. Or just power through, one All of right. the two. We'll do that. We'll power through, I think. <laughs> it's good. Have a good Great night. to see you. Thank you. Having travelled 300 kilometres north of Auckland, I'm now going 400 kilometres south in my mission to swim with the dolphins. Yesterday at Fakatani, yes, that's what it's called, <laughs> there are about 800 dolphins there. And there might be even more today, but there's only one way to find out. Oh, Fakatani sits in the North Island's spectacular Bay of Plenty. Its warm Pacific Ocean water famously teems with wildlife. We just heard from the other skipper that they have a, a group of about 100 dolphins on the 12 mile mark. So we're going to head out there now. Here they come, they're just coming into bear work. And they found us. In a matter of minutes, they were all around the boat. I was told that dolphins can sense your aura and respond to your energy. In you go, nice and quietly. I hopped in the water. Good thoughts, thank you, good thoughts. Take me to a happy place. <laughs> trying to send out these good, positive vibes. It's a bit freaky because you're in their environment and they're wild animals. You don't know what could happen. So in that sense, it was a little bit, oh, what's going to happen here? You're out of your comfort zone. Beautiful. Thank you, where have you gone? 